Welcome to this module's learning guide. As you move into the online environment, there are some technical requirements that are essential in order to participate in an online course. The technical requirements you need in order to take an online course will be explained in this module. You will learn how to access your college email and how to determine if your computer is compatible with the learning environment, Moodle, that you will use to take your online courses. Once you have a Regis user account, you will also have an email address. To access your email, you can log in to one of two places. Log in to Regisnet, https colon forward slash forward slash Regisnet dot Regis College dot edu and select Regis email link in the upper left corner. Or go directly to https colon forward slash forward slash cas dot regis college dot edu forward slash owa forward slash auth forward slash logon period aspx and use your regis college username and password at the login page your college email is the primary means of communication within the college and with your instructors. It is important when you enroll in a course that you make sure to check it regularly, even a few times a week, especially if you're taking an online course, to get updates about the college and your classes. If you run into any issues logging into Regis College email or Moodle or accessing your school email, you should contact the IT Help Desk for further assistance. You can contact the help desk by logging in at https colon forward slash forward slash support dot Regis College dot edu. Please log in with your username at Regis College dot edu and your regular Regis password. There is also an iPhone iPad app that can be accessed at https colon forward slash forward slash appsto dot re forward slash us forward slash ed 6 h 1 period i hardware and software to take an online course at Regis College you will need daily access to a bare requirements for computers and laptops Intel 5 processor and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Recommended criteria for laptops, Intel 7 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM. For PCs running Windows XP or higher with reliable internet access, or for Macs running OS X with reliable internet access. Note, it is not recommended to take an online course using just a smartphone for example, an iPhone, or a tablet, for example, an iPad. There may be times when the limitations of tablet or mobile device make doing work much longer than what might be done more quickly on a laptop or a desktop. Your computer will also need the following software freeware installed. Microsoft Word, or another program that produces documents, such as Google Docs or OpenOffice, Adobe Reader, QuickTime Player, Windows Media Player. In addition, the following plugins are needed. Java and JavaScript. Web Browser. Your computer's web browser must also be supported by Moodle and properly configured. Moodle is fully functional in various web browsers on a Windows or Mac OS X system, including Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, and Chrome. Please note that beta versions or recently released versions of these browsers might not be compatible with all functionality in Moodle and users may experience some issues. These web browsers are supported by Moodle for regular computer devices, desktops, laptops, no netbooks. Be aware that some functionality may be impacted when using Moodle on a mobile device. It is important to check if your specific web browser and version are supported by Moodle. Access. To be successful in an online course, you will need to interact with the instructor, other students, course materials, and learning activities on a regular basis. To do this, 
you will need daily access to a computer with reliable internet access. It is highly recommended that this be a computer owned by you. If you do not own a computer or have to share access to a computer with others, here are a few other suggestions. Check out computer labs on the campus, computers in the library, or local, the local public library. You'll want to check to see if there are any time limits on use or restrictions on access. If you have a laptop that does not have wireless, but do not have internet access at home, these might be other places to consider if you are attempting an online course. Coffee shops in other food establishments, Starbucks, Panera, etc. Public buildings, some museums, city halls, etc. Other establishments such as bookstores, Barnes and Noble. Troubleshooting tips. If you're experiencing technical problems with using Moodle, here are a few troubleshooting tips that you can try. Check to make sure your browser is compatible with Moodle. Try another web browser. Using another web browser will often resolve the issue. Check the latest update of a given browser, for it may result in some content being blocked on occasion, such as embedded videos. If your content is blocked in Firefox, look for and select the shield icon on the left side of the URL bar and select disable protection on this page from the drop down menu. If your content is blocked in Chrome, click on the shield icon on the right side of the URL bar and click load unsafe script. If you run into any issues logging into Regis email or Moodle or accessing your school email, you should contact the IT desk for further assistance. Where to from here? Tutorials. In this module, we have included tutorials that can help familiarize you with the four browsers that can operate Moodle. While we do not recommend you watch all of them, it might be useful to watch a few minutes of whichever browser that you use most. You're not expected to view all videos, but only those you would like further information about or feel you need further training on. Module 3, Learning Activity. Browser and Device Check Survey. This module's learning activity is pretty simple. It is a survey tool. Some courses may have you take surveys to determine consensus, solicit feedback on something, or provide input to the instructor on the course. For this survey, we would like you to inform us what browser, what version, and what operating system you are using. If you are unsure of how to discover these answers, you can visit whatsmybrowser.org to answer those questions. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.